Dr. Alexis Carell was a French medical doctor who won a Nobel Prize in physiology. He said that prayer is the most powerful form of energy that one can generate. The influence of prayer on the human mind and body is as obvious as that of secreting glands. Its results can be measured in terms of increased buoyancy, moral stamina, and a deeper understanding of human relationships. He went on to say that prayer is indispensable to the fullest development of personality. Only in prayer do we achieve that complete harmonious assembly of mind, body, and spirit, which gives the frail human need its unshakable strength. When we pray, we link ourselves with the inexhaustible motive that spins the universe. We'd like to thank Dr. Carell for those words, and although his research was primarily concerned with experimental surgery and the transplantation of tissues and whole organs, he also realized the importance of prayer and the consequence of connecting with God. Many people think that prayer is simply when we say words to God, when we put our petitions before God and ask Him to answer our requests. But talking to God, or praying, is actually like getting on the telephone and communicating. God loves it when we take the time to talk with Him, but do you realize He'd also like to communicate back to you? Our Bible verse for today is found in Exodus chapter 33, verse 11, which says, and the Lord spake unto Moses face to face, as a man speaketh unto his friend. The Bible is filled with role models, but I can't think of a better one than Moses. He was a leader and also a listener and a friend of God's. As the old song says, what a friend we have in Jesus. Did you ever stop to think about what a friend we have in God? He experienced a long journey, but took each step in communication with God each step in prayer with God. And just like Moses, we need to experience life's journey in conversation with our Creator. Prayer is a dialogue, not a monologue. It's a two-way communication. God's voice is the most essential part of our journey in life. And if we limit our prayers only to the words that we read in a prayer book, we'll be missing out on one of the most important parts of prayer, and that is hearing God's voice. Why do you think Jesus arose a great while before day to go out and pray? He needed to hear the voice of his Father before starting his day, and so do we. When we listen to God's voice as we pray, it gives us confidence that he too is listening to us. So often we've been taught that prayer is petitioning God, asking God to do this and to do that, but we haven't practiced listening to him nearly enough. God is eager to speak to us. But we are the ones who don't know how to listen, or we claim we don't have enough time to listen. Most of us just rush into prayer at 100 miles an hour. We rattle off our list of what we want, but God wants us to listen to His wants as well. As we journey through life, we need to develop a habit of spending time with God that is undisturbed and focused. A time to shut out all the noise and thoughts of the world around us and devote our total attention to listening to Him. Let's come before God today, both to lift up our needs as well as to hear His plan for the day. When life takes us down God's path rather than our own, we'll be filled with joy and the humility of knowing that we're not doing it on our own, but we're doing it God's way. So our prayer today is, Lord, I want to hear from you. I want your presence in my life, and I want to follow your plan for my life rather than dictating my own plans to you. Let's stop and think of ways to make our prayer lives a dialogue with God rather than simply reciting a list of our wants. Perhaps we can start our prayer time with a few minutes of silence or reading the Bible in conversation with Him and shutting out all the distractions, all the noise, Let's start listening as we pray. And that is our Bible verse for today. Exodus 33, 11, And the Lord speaks unto Moses face to face, as a man speaks unto his friend. Thank you for joining us, and thanks also for subscribing to our channel.